Hey Trove Squad, welcome back to the channel. You see your girl has switched up her look yet again. That's why I'm doing all 2019 y'all. I'm switching up my look, trying different hairstyles. So um, get used to it. So I got this new wig from Beauty Forever Hair and they're actually sponsoring this video. So I'm about to tell you guys all about this hair. Terrell, do you have something to say about it? Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, really? Yes. So, since we're right here, I'm about to show y'all this curl pattern up close and personal. This is their Malaysian hair in 22 inches. It's Ma Malaysian curly hair, as you can see, in 22 inches. It's so beautiful. Like, this curl pattern is everything. It's so pretty. Sorry, y'all. I'm just distracted by the boy. All right, let me put... <laughs> Let me put him down because, uh, uh, he doing too much. So anyway, this is their Malaysian curly hair and 22 inches. So the hair does, I mean, it goes all the way down here when I stretch it, but you know, it's curly. So it's not going to be that long. And the wig that I have is a, let me make sure. Cause let me look on to see. Okay. This is the lace front <laughs> wig. This is a lace front wig, so you got lace like all right here in this whole front area. This whole front area from this side to this side is all lace, and I have a comb right here, a comb right here, and a comb at the back. So it has three combs, and then it has lace, and then in the packaging it comes with an adjustable strap. I didn't use that because I didn't really need that, so um, you do have the option to get an adjustable strap. And what the adjustable strap does is it makes like the hair just... Mm, like really stick to your head the wig stick to your head how i did my wig was i did my uh got to be free spray like i did in my other video y'all all i did was froze the all i did was spray the spray on my edges and then did my baby hairs after i did like a little bit of something something y'all know i'm still a work in progress but for like this hair you don't really need your baby hairs out that much so i just have a middle part so that I could just pop the wig on and just be effortless when I'm going places and doing stuff like that. Um, the curl pattern, I noticed that the curls in the front are a little tighter than the curls at the back. So what I did last night is I washed the hair and then I added mousse to the hair like in the front so that the curls in the front could really stick because they were a little puffy like the curls in the back they didn't have any problem they didn't puff up or anything and i actually like the curl pattern in the back it's like really really beautiful but the curl pattern in the front is just a little bit tighter and it gets puffy so what i did was i added mousse and that made the curls really pop and they look like everything just blends today so that's all i had to do uh to prep the hair and <laughs> too much. So um I think that's it. I haven't um I plugged my middle part a little bit. Terrell wants to say something, y'all. So I'm about to give him the camera in a second. So yeah, um let me make sure that I have all the specs on here. Um so oh and hair the hair already came with baby hairs y'all and I just cut them just a little bit more. I didn't have to do anything to the lace like I didn't have to tint it or anything. All I did was add a little bit of concealer and it looks pretty good. Um, so I really have to do that much to this wig and I really like how it looks. It's just like a whole nother look. Get you that big hair look. Yes. Turl. Hey no no. Hey. Leave that alone. So yeah, if you guys want more information on this hair, I'll leave all the links down below. Thank you again to Beauty Forever Hair for sponsoring this video and giving me this beautiful hair to rock. Terrell hey. is down there and he's hey. wearing... Y'all know I have to show y'all Terrell. He's wearing hey. his uh, Black History shirt. He's... Ugh. Attitude. Leave that alone. No plugs for the baby. Win, win, win. Call the ambulance. We're about to go to the doctor, you guys. You know what? Matter of fact, by the time this video comes out, you guys would have already known that your girl is... Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of reaction was that? You okay? <laughs> Big head self. By the time this video comes out, you guys would have already known that I am pregnant. So I guess I can show y'all 
what the bump is looking like today. We're about to go to the doctor for my ultrasound. I'm filming another video of just me going to the uh, doctor. So you guys, are, I don't know if you're going to see that one first. Or you're going to see this one first. Woo! Woo! I saved his life. I saved your life. So me and Terrell are about to go and we'll check in with you guys a little later. Okay? It's many, many hours later. I think the last time I talked to y'all was morning time. Y'all, it's seven o'clock, me and Terrell came home. We went to the doctor's office today. Oh, you guys will see all that in another vlog, but came home, just woke up from my nap. My hair is crazy. Uh, it's crazy and it's gotten much bigger over the hours. Oh man, but I'm about to go wake up tomorrow because it's late. Uh, I'm gonna go wanna go sleep. Bless you. Oh. Hey, baby. Oh, hey, baby. Mm. You sleepy? Oh, you smell so good. We both very, very sleepy. So he go go to sleep around nine tonight. Baby, but nine thirty. He usually wake up from his nap around 6.30, but it's 7. It's not too bad. You want a bottle? Or you want something to eat? Dang, I look bad. So what is this camera? I'm not used to this. What is this camera? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Screaming. You waking up? Yeah, I'm waking up. I'm waking up, Mama. Mm. Oop, I think we're almost done. It's all done, and this is what I was talking about. That's a like power green, super greens, and it is a mixture of spinach, mizuna, whatever that is, chard, and kale. So he gets all that in one at one time. Perfect. You don't even know what you got that for. Look at him. He like, oh. He wants to grab everything. If it's in my hand, he thinks it's his. Oh, y'all. Um, in the latest, so you guys said that I should line Terrell's helmet with satin. So I'm either do that or I'm gonna get him like a little bonnet <laughs> and put that on his head first and then put the helmet on i don't know how his dad's gonna feel about the bonnet though so maybe i'll just line it with satin that's a good idea y'all are y'all are that's a good idea so that's like we can still use the helmet but we just won't have so much friction so i think that'll work you think that'll work it's time for the trophy cooking show even though i look like lion i look like a lion Today we're making chicken tiki masala. That's one of the things, that's one of the little um, TV dinners that me and Terrell always get from, from um, what's the place called? Trader Joe's. And I just decided to make it myself. Let's see if I can make it myself. I saw the recipe on Pinterest, so we're gonna see how this goes. Um, Y'all, somebody just messaged me on Instagram and sent me a freaking picture of a baby do-rag. I'm about to go buy it right now. It's on Amazon, like $4. It is so freaking cute. So I could put the do-rag underneath his helmet and he could probably sleep in there too because he has hair loss at the back and I should have been got this for him, like a baby do-rag. First of all, that's the cutest thing ever. 
a baby do rag on my lips. I'm back. And my lips are better. All right, sorry about that. I'm sorry that you had to be exposed to those ashy ass lips, but I'm back and as I was saying, a baby do-rag is the cutest thing ever. So I will be ordering that for the baby. So this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs and I cut it up into uh, little pieces. I think they said half inch pieces. I don't know if this is half inch, but this is what it looks like. And um, I have chopped up onion, half of an onion, and I put some vegetable oil in there and I'm cooking it. They said to use canola oil, hopefully. I don't know if there's a big difference. We'll see. I'm making a mess, y'all, and I'm sorry I haven't been showing y'all the process, but this recipe is moving fast. So I just added a whole bunch of stuff. This stuff right here, gram masala, tomato paste, chili powder, ground turmeric, and um, now I'm about to add tomato sauce. A can of tomato sauce. All right, stirring tomato sauce and chicken stock. How much chicken stock? I should have had all this stuff measured out. That's why I'm not prepared as a cook. I measure it as I go and open stuff as I go. When I should have did it at, um, at the beginning. Chicken stock, okay, one cup of chicken stock. Let me go get that. I'm using this chicken stock. Adding chicken stock. It says bring to a boil, season with salt and pepper to taste, uh, stir occasionally to fragrant, oh, okay, until it thickens about 10 minutes. I think I could do that. In the meantime, I'm about to clean up this kitchen because it is a freaking mess. It smells really good. It smells authentic, like an Indian recipe. All right, so I'm bringing to a boil. They said season with salt and pepper. I'm gonna listen this time, season with salt and pepper. I didn't listen when they said season the chicken with salt and pepper, uh-uh. I had to add my own little sum sum to it. All right, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Sounds good. Okay, y'all, so the sauce has thickened a little bit. Should I let it thicken a little more? No, it's cool. The sauce has thickened, and it's been about 10 minutes. And I'm about to add the heavy whipping cream. They say add a half a cup of that. This what gives it that color, I think. Make sure the taste as well. They said, uh, stir that in and let that sit, cook for about a minute. But I'm just gonna turn it on low because um, I have to get to real ready for sleep. Ooh, ooh, I think I made it put a little too much. The color is definitely changing. <laughs> that the color is supposed to be. Smells good. So I'm just gonna put that on low and then get Terrell ready for sleep. And then I'll come back and make my plate and taste it and hopefully it's good, y'all. Mmm, I just tasted it. Delish. Let me add a little more salt and pepper. Mmm, it tastes authentic. And by the way, this is the rice I'm using, y'all. Y'all tell me your Uncle Ben's and your girl listens. So I'm going to do it with this rice because I didn't want to try it 
with this kind of rice I never made so I'm like let me just get the Uncle Ben's kind and then I got the brown rice chicken flavor whole grain brown so I figured that'll be good because it's chicken flavored so I'm gonna let y'all know well definitely let y'all know how this tastes and then let y'all know about this later because you know the brown rice is what your girl is having trouble with it looks good it like got all the flavors and stuff in there mmm hey <laughs> why are you laughing at me because I'm down here You said your joy. You know that? You said your joy. Makes me so happy. You don't want to hug me? Oh, I thought that was a scream because he was getting hugged. <laughs> Look at the face he's making. <laughs> you don't want to hug your mommy? Ooh, say mommy. Ooh, I don't want to hug my mommy. That's lame. That's lame. Ooh. You love your mommy. Ooh, I, know you love your, I know you love your mommy. Your mommy loves you. Uh oh. And that's that on that. The baby is about to go to sleep. He's all ready. He has on his sleeper. I love the well not these kind this Nike kind is cute though but they're button up which I hate I love the zip up kind so I'm gonna be getting some more of those for him because all of the sleepers he has now y'all probably see him because y'all know y'all see all his like this rotation he has about I say five of them and I just rotate them and I mean because like having more than five is just unnecessary but I need to get some more for him because I think the only nine month one he has is the one I got from Carter's. But anyway, my camera's about to die. Let me hurry up and finish this little uh, outro part, y'all. I'm sorry. But uh, we're about to read Pajama Time by my girl, my favorite author. And Terrell's about to go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Let me know if you guys like short vlogs like this, like just a day in a life. Just one day instead of like days. Because if I could do these, then they'll be like more often. So let me know if you guys want short vlogs that are more frequent so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video my camera is just about to die very very soon the baby is looking angry <laughs> he's sleepy i love you guys we love you guys and we'll see you guys next time oh is my wig coming up <laughs> we'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs> you so cute. Mm, I forgot to come back and show y'all the food, y'all. A1. Bon appetit. This is what it looks like. I think I added too much cream because it's not the color that it was on the picture. This is what it looks like. I just put a little bit of rice. Y'all, this rice is so good. Y'all were right. Oh my gosh, this is like made perfectly in 90 freaking seconds. So, this is what I'm about to enjoy. I don't know if I would have rather did it with chicken breast. Mmm, no. I think I like the chicken thighs. Sorry for smacking y'all here. Yeah, it tastes good, y'all. It tastes authentic. It tastes just like the freaking ones that we get at Trader Joe's. No, I think the ones that we get at Trader Joe's has some more spice. I think I'm going to add some more cayenne. It has some more kick or something, but... It has that same flavor, authentic flavor. I'm obviously a professional cook. All right, okay, bye. <laughs>